Am I the A for giving away my dad's and my sister's tickets to my graduation ceremony and telling them not to bother showing up? I, 18 female, have my high school graduation ceremony this Wednesday. It was sent to my parents in an email that I will be giving a speech that day as my grades made me valedictorian of my school's class of 2024. And I was so excited to do so. My school made us reserve and buy tickets to the ceremony weeks in advance, and I picked mine up on the 26th. The problem started at dinner when I told my family I picked up the tickets for my graduation day and would keep them with me until the day of just to make sure they don't get lost. My dad told me that he and my sister have plans for an hour before the ceremony, but that my mom will be there the whole time and that they'll try to be there for the after party. I was honestly shocked for a moment before starting to laugh, assuming they weren't serious, when I realized they actually weren't joking. I'll admit I was a bit mad. I'm usually a very shy and non-confrontational person, even around my family, but I started yelling at my dad and sister, asking if they were seriously ditching my graduation ceremony. I told them that the after party was useless to attend and that all the pictures of the graduates with their families would be taken at least two hours before the ceremony. They said it's fine. We can take our own pictures the day after my graduation. But I got up and left dinner. Over the weekend, I saw a few people on my class group chat complain that they didn't get enough tickets. So I offered up the two tickets I had and met up with a girl from my class to give them to her. And even though I told her not to, she actually paid me the original price for them. When the topic of graduation was brought up by my dad today during lunch, I told him that I gave the other two tickets away and only my mom will be attending, so they shouldn't bother with the after party. He got mad and asked why I would do that, to which I replied that I don't see the point in wasting money on tickets if they're not going to use them. My dad blew up at me saying I'm acting like a spoiled brat, and it's not like I'll die if he and my sister are a bit late to my graduation. I spoke to a few people about it, my friends and my grandma. My friends said good riddance, and if they consider their plans more important, they can have fun. But my grandma said that while she understands my side, I shouldn't have given away the tickets just to spite my dad, because maybe he would have changed his mind and gone on time. So I'm looking for an unbiased opinion. Am I the A? Edit for information. The plans my dad and sister have is some sleepover with her and her friends group in the north, about a two hour drive from where we live. The parents didn't want to leave a bunch of under 16 year old girls alone that far. So everyone's parents are also going for supervision, apart from my mom, who is going to be at my graduation. Now for the top comments before the update. Thank God your mom supports you. Not only graduating, but also being the valedictorian of your class. Great job. I am saddened that your father and sister are not celebrating your great accomplishments with you. It just baffles me. I don't even know you, but I'm excited for you. You did the right thing, not the A. But your dad and sister are the A's. They have or had 364 days to do their sleepover. Like what the F? By the way, congrats on your accomplishments. Thank you. Yes, my mom has kind of been my rock throughout high school. I'm really grateful for her. Well done, OP. Not the A, of course. As others have said, you probably could have talked them around. And if your goal was for them to attend, some patients would have probably achieved that. But that's not the point. And I think the others are missing that. The goal is for them to want to turn up to such a major achievement without being begged or talked around. You've made it clear that they've disappointed you. And that's the only reason they were mad. Guilt. Do not be gaslit. They don't care enough, and you shouldn't ever need to talk them into caring. They'll probably learn from this, 
and it'd be nice to give them the chance to learn. Update. Hi, everyone. First of all, I want to thank you for the interaction my original post got, which I ended up showing to my mom. We had a laugh together at some of the comments about my dad, and she wanted me to tell you she appreciates the kind words about her as well. My graduation was today, so here is an update on my original post a couple of days ago. Although it was just my mom and I, the day went really well. We took probably a hundred photos together, both with the school photographer and on my mom's camera. The girl I gave the tickets to, as well as her family, even took photos with mom and I. I gave my speech in front of the families of maybe a hundred plus students. My school has three different programs, so lots of people, and was even surprised with certificates of excellence in psychology and IT when the time came for me to get my diploma. As for my dad and sister, my sister has been spamming her social media with videos of the sleepover with her friends, to which I'm honestly unbothered. My friends and I ended up ditching the after party anyway, and went for dinner in the city with our parents instead. Overall, while I'm disappointed that my entire family wasn't there, I'm more than happy with it just being my mom and I, and I honestly feel like I had more fun with her alone than I would have had if the rest of my family showed up. Congratulations! I'm glad you had a good time, and I hope your dad is still in the doghouse. Did you or your mom show him the thread? Thank you. My mom and I were having a laugh. And she suggested sending him a link to my original post a few hours ago, so I told her to go for it. We'll see his reaction soon. Please come back and share his reaction. Let's just say someone went to stay at his mom's house last night, and we got a call from her reprimanding my mom and I. Oh dear! Well, she can just keep him then. No way! <laughs> That's exactly what my mom told her. I'm glad you were able to have a great day, and congrats to you. Your mom is awesome. Your dad, however, I just honestly can't figure out what his problem is. How is a sleepover ever more important than a graduation? I wonder if he even cares about the damage he's caused to your relationship, or if he will ever try to make this up to you. Regardless, congrats again on your big day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.